Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be exploring things that TikTok made me buy so you don't have to. I'm just kidding, that last part. Honestly, a lot of the stuff TikTok made me buy, I would say like 90% of it has been the best stuff I've ever had in my life. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. It's just been a good experience, you know? And then there's a couple flops here and there. That's what we're gonna be doing today. You guys know the routine. Also, you may be wondering why I'm not wearing makeup today. We are just celebrating skin today. Fresh face, fresh skin, I'm here for it. I need this every now and again, you know? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to subscribe before you leave and let's jump right in. Our first product is about a serum that has gone super viral on TikTok. It even has over 2,000 reviews on Amazon. Go ahead and roll that TikTok. So this is the Green Tangerine Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum from Goodall. Now, you've heard me talk about this before, but this is their new formulation and this is the new Chic Packaging. I love this Chic Packaging. I still love mine. Girl, I've about gone through a whole bottle, but this, this is the one. Also, thank you to Goodall for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm just gonna start off with saying why I like this. I wear it in the AM, PM. It's good for sensitive skin and I even put it on under my makeup. It plays well with makeup because it's like a water-based gel where it's not too greasy on your skin. I like this product because it's really good to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare routine and it's an easy way to do it whenever you can wear it underneath your makeup and apply it at night as well. But it's really great for brightening and specifically dark spots. You can even use this if you have rosacea, acne prone skin, oily skin, you can use it. Um, my skin is a bit dry and I do have some dark spots that I like to even out and hyperpigmentation. So I love this for that. This has 70% of organic green tangerine extract within it. A green tangerine has 10 times more vitamin C than lemons. The reformulation has two times the amount of niacinamide in it. And baby, that is going to give it its brightening power. So I just apply maybe a pea size and a half. Has a jelly-like texture, super lightweight to my skin. And oh my God, it feels so good. It also feels like super hydrating. So I just like to apply this all over. They also have the green tangerine Vita C dark spot cream. This is a newer product I've been getting into and it also feels delicious. It's like an extra dose of that vitamin C. This is what it looks like. It has a really lightweight jelly-like texture to it and it doesn't clog your pores. Super hydrating and it has those vitamin C benefits. Good old products have gone so viral on TikTok as well as on Instagram. They have over 2,000 reviews. So guys, be sure and check them out. They're having a sale right now. I'll have these products linked down below and you guys can get 40% off. They're actually affordable skincare products which is rare these days. So you guys can get 40% off the good all products and you guys can use my link down below to shop. I feel like these two products are a little powerhouse together. This is a great everyday powerhouse serum. This is a great moisturizer that leaves a gorgeous dewy finish. Be sure to check them out. All right guys, so I have my hair down as well for a reason because I have this thing we're gonna try out and I'm not gonna tell you what it is. We're just gonna roll the TikTok. The thing is, I have to say, I don't 100% know what I'm doing with this, and I am so scared that I'm gonna lose a hunk of my hair, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like a piece like that big is very sufficient. Oh, it's already going. Okay, so I got it in there, like that, like just hooked in there. It took the hair. I did something wrong. It's not taking more hair. Do I start at the top or the bottom? Got it, I did it wrong. I'm supposed to start at the top, which is even more scary. Goodbye hair. Oh! Okay, now what do I do? Now we press the button. <laughs> What's happening? <gasps> oh, it was getting warm, it was heating up. Okay, let me try again, let me try again. We're getting the hang of this. And then you just, you know, press the little button and it heats up in there. We're gonna wait just a minute, we'll be back. All right, we're gonna take it out. What is that? You know what, it was still heating up. It's now steaming, so I think I didn't let it get hot enough, so we're gonna try for a third time. Let's do this. <gasps> All right, we're gonna wait it out. Okay, now we're gonna take it out. It was much warmer. You know what? 
One more time. One more time. Okay, we're gonna take it out now. Oh, the hair feels really hot. Really, really hot. This is literally steaming. What, y'all, I can't make this up. This thing might be a flop. I just wanna say, I think we have a gimmick on our hands. I'm willing to try again. Oh, I definitely got some hair tangled. Oh yeah, there was tangled hair. Let me try that. Oh my God. All right. Okay, we're just gonna wipe that out. Cool. All right, we're gonna pull the hair out. Oh my gosh, this like, honestly, I, I don't think it gets hot enough. Like, and I think that may be a safety feature, but like, I feel like 400 degrees on my heat, my hair, honey. And like, see, it puts like a little wave. You see that wave? That wasn't there before, okay? So the, it, it's doing a little something, but I think overall, this one I'm talking about sometimes with TikTok stuff, this one's just a gimmick for me. And I've tried like five times. It's definitely heating up and it's definitely taking my hair and wrapping it, but it just, like there's steam coming out the top. I just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not powerful enough. It just leaves my hair weird. Okay, I probably am gonna come back to this and try it another time But it's just like not working for me, which makes me so sad We have a flop. Okay, our next product is a lifesaver product or could be go ahead and roll that TikTok. Look at this lighting I got one of these little clips This is me sitting in my pitch black room I feel like I'm on a movie set with this. This is from Amazon, but I'm gonna link this for you guys because I'm taking this out with me every night. Okay guys, this is it. Now I have a lot of different lights that I carry with me, but none of which clip onto my phone. Like this situation, I have a lot of lights that are just little squares and I throw them in my purse and when I go out to get the perfect lighting and taking pictures and selfies, I just hold it and I hold my phone. But now we have it all in one. So we have a little circle where it can clip around your camera. We're gonna go ahead and pop it on my phone. I had to charge it by the way, so I'm gonna turn it on. It's on, and I'm gonna show you the footage before and after. So let's switch over to phone footage. I'll be right back. Okay, it makes a tremendous difference. And this thing is probably gonna be one of my favorite new items. So watch this. So this is it with it turned off. I'm filming, I'm talking, turning it on. Girl, the light, like imagine being in a dark place and there being no light and you just turn this on. It looks amazing. Okay, again, this is it off. It makes such a big difference. Obsessed. Good lighting anywhere you go. Obsessed. Okay, this is a win for me. As you saw my iPhone footage, it is so good. Like, hello, you do have to charge it and you can turn it up and you can turn it down. So you can adjust the brightness and then you just hold this button up and down and then it clips. But it also has like a secondary attachment to it where you can attach it to like a little camera stand if you wanna add it to like the little tripod that holds your camera and just move it around as a light. So I think this is definitely one of the best portable lights, regardless if maybe you do nails, eyebrows, whatever it may be, you need a little portable light, selfies for someone like me, <laughs> shooting content. This is amazing. 10 out of 10, baby, it's a win. Okay, for our next product, this one is like hilarious, but I'm gonna be honest, I've always been curious when I've saw these and I've always been like, do they really work or not? There's these glasses that like, you were able to lay down and like they point the camera that, I don't know, just roll the TikTok. Okay guys, here they are. Are we ready to try? Look how silly these are. Okay, so. Oh, oh trippy. Tri what do I look like right now? I'm so scared to know. Okay, you know what's so trippy? So I'm looking at you right now, but what I see is my desk. I can see everything on my desk and I can't see anything in front of me. Unless I did this. Oh, now I can see myself. <laughs> What am I doing right now? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go try these lying down. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I have to have my phone. I'm gonna try these out so this way we can watch TikToks at any time of the day. Oh, honey, like this is nice. Let's see if we can see your eyes. This is, can you see them? <laughs> I think I see This them. is so nice. Like, you don't understand this actually works. <laughs> You look like a crab. <laughs> Wait, it literally works, babe. Come try them. This is trippy. I know, you can only see down. It's so this cool. This is so trippy. Aren't they kind of cool? Come lay down. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These don't feel like my hands. I know. It's this trippy. super trippy. <laughs> you look hilarious. Wow. Can you see my eyes? Let me see. Look at my eyes. <gasps> oh! <sighs> wow. Oh, 
Wow. This, oh my god, this is gonna make me sick. I love them. What do you rate them? For what they're for, 10 out of 10. Yeah, right? They're like literally do exactly what they say. They're so cool. Love these. Would you actually use them? I don't see Laura actually using these. Probably not. They're really heavy too. Like they hurt your nose. Like they they're so heavy. heavy that way heavier than regular glasses. So don't know if they're from me per se, but they do exactly what they say they're gonna do. They're not a gimmick. So I have to give them points for that. So 10 out of 10. Okay, for this next one, we've come into the kitchen, baby, and we have oranges. So we're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok and I cannot wait to show you this device. Oh my God, look at this. I need one. So I've got my oranges, got my glass. Orange in half on there and tightens. Go. What? Look at that. Wow, cheers. Tyler has figured this out. You do have to charge it when it comes in. It comes with a little charger. So you gotta put it on the charger. So guys, you turn this on. You hold this down for two seconds. Put this the goes lid like on. that. This is already assembled. You lock the lid on. And I definitely wash this. Mm, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Make sure this is closed. Okay. And then. And there's a half. That let's was so what, quick. Let's see what this looks like before we pull the juice out. Maybe we can get the, oh wow. <laughs> wow. I did not, I don't know what I expected, but I was this not was expecting not it. That. This is not what I expected. Dang, it really gets like every little piece of juice up out of there. Okay, if someone likes fresh juice, this might be a good gift for them. All right, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Whoa, that's so cool. Wait, I kind of love this. I think I'm in love with this. This is like way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, look at it, you try it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It does, it smells delish. It's so good. Fresh OJ, baby. That is literally Great, so it? good. Wow. The thing that trips me out the most is how the oranges look. Like, it kind of feels wrong and weird in a way that they this happened to an orange, but you know what? This wasn't that cheap. Like this was a more pricey item. I think this was close to $60, $70. For it costing that much, I have to say it works. It's nice that you can charge it and you don't have to plug it up in your kitchen. I'm sure cleanup because you take all this out is a breeze and literally I completely juiced an orange in about 30 seconds. 10 out of 10, baby, 10, 10 out 20 of 20. 20 out of 20. 20 out of 20, it works. There's no gimmicks here. Okay guys, we're still in the kitchen for our next item. Our next item is this Tres Leches cake. It is a strawberry creamy milky cake. It is divine and this video got 36 million views and 15 million likes. That's how many people wanna make this cake. It is everything. Let me not spoil it for you. I'm gonna insert the TikTok now. this adventure we're gonna do the yellow box cake I love box cake and we're gonna go ahead and mix up all three ingredients pretty simple right there It's done. It got a little toasted, you know, a little toasted on top, but I think it is cooked to perfection, so I'm okay with that. I mean, see, it just is like the top is a little crispy, but we're about to trim it up. Like she said, I have a little knife with some shirazian. This knife's from the Dollar Tree. And, oh yeah, this is coming right off. So we're just trimming up the edges, and I think this is so the liquids can get nice and down in there. Okay. I made the biggest mess that I possibly could have because I was like raking the little edges off, like flicking them off. But I think I got it perfectly. Now I'm gonna poke holes in it. While I'm poking holes, I have a question for you guys. What flavor is yellow cake? Like what is yellow cake supposed to be? It's not chocolate, it's not vanilla, it's yellow, but it's not lemon. Like what is, it's good because she instructed to snack on these edges, so I did. But then it led me to asking questions like, wait, 
It's good, but what flavor is yellow? Is that like cornbread? It doesn't taste like cornbread, it tastes like cake. And I want answers. Do the evaporated milk, condensed milk. Ooh, she thick. Oh, oh Lord. We made the measurements easy, because next we're gonna fill this condensed milk container up, and then we're just gonna put regular milk in it. Now we're gonna pour it on top. I'm a little nervous to hold the camera and do this, but let's see if I can execute it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to kind of get it evenly. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't do more than that. Like, I feel like I have too much of this. Do I, or should I, should I keep going? I'll do a little more for safety. I always say add a little for safety piling up so I definitely feel like we have a safe amount. Maybe a little more right here. All right, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for two hours. Hopefully I put enough. I did end up adding a little bit more in case the bread absorbed all of it and then there wasn't any left, but it's definitely looking pretty saturated down in there. So we're gonna put it in the fridge for two hours. Okay, I took the cake out and I touched it and it definitely feels the exact way I think it should feel. It feels like super sticky and like moist. Um, so I think I put just the right amount of liquid in here. I did the sugar and the uh, whipping cream. You just have to mix it for like 10 minutes. It takes a long time. But I also make my banana pudding like this. So I already knew how to do this luckily. I'm gonna spread this on top. strawberries on top. I did, I by myself. He did such a good job too. Like, are you like kind of impressed? I'm actually very, I told him it was therapeutic and he agreed. It kind of was. I was scared I was gonna cut myself, let me tell you that. That's why I, I like it. To... I was okay. Oh, What's did you this sprinkle? cake called? What's this cake called? Is it like a tres leches cake? That's exactly what it's called. Got it. Tres. Tres. That's good, Laura. Ooh. Leche. Oh, leche. Oh, that what was the it? best word you've ever said in Spanish ever. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> That was the best you've ever done, was leche. Hey, there's three that's, milks. That was my, that strange. was my, well, there's three different milks in here. Okay, got it, I got it, okay. So Didn't now know we know, why. we're learning things together. Know why. What do we think? Honestly, divine. Because it's like, so wet down there. Because that's exactly what hers are like on TikTok. And I knew, I knew not to get crazy. Felt it. And see, that seems right. So. I knew you were Latina at heart. I knew, it. I felt it in my Latina heart. Mm -hmm. Leche. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good. 10 out of 10. 20 10 out of 20. Out of 10. Next item, we are gonna be trying out our own like made rubber ice roller thingamabob. It's supposed to be cooling to the face, de stress, de anxiety. Let's just roll the TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. Linked in my bio. All right, so I already got mine in and it looks like this and it comes apart, it's like rubber, but right here in this seamless little top, you fill it up with water. So you put it together, fill it up with water, put it in the freezer for a couple hours and we're about to take it apart and see how this works. You can also put different little things like cucumbers and all in your water, but baby, I'm just getting my feet wet with this thing so I wasn't trying to get fancy. All right guys, we're gonna open her up. <gasps> oh, I guess I didn't fill it all the way up with water <laughs> enough, but so you definitely want to make sure all your air bubbles are out because there's no ice in there. So I should have done more. <gasps> oh, that shocked me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This feels so good. Oh my gosh. I just want to keep going with it. This feels heavenly. But at the same time, I should have put this edge is actually really soft. It looks sharp, but it's not. Oh, that feels so good. It's like literally making me want to scream while I'm doing it. So I'm like having trouble talking while I'm doing it because it's so cold and shocking. But I gotta say, like, do you ever feel like stressed and anxious? Oh my god, this would feel like heaven. This would send the real shock to your system. It'll get you together real good. So I gotta say, this is actually like a really cool item. I need to go dry my face because like Look, it's soaking wet now. This is something really cool. I like that you can like uh, make it your own and put your own stuff into it. And it did freeze pretty quick. <laughs> Water's like going everywhere. So maybe do a paper towel with it, but you just pop it together. You fill it full of water in the little heart and then you freeze it and it's that simple. So 10 out of 10. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here watching. Don't forget to check out the Good All products. So good, 40% off, major sale happening on Amazon, affordable skincare, we're into it. I'll have it linked down below. and. 
I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe before you leave.